It's day three of the Erie Auto Show, and some people are looking to get behind the wheel of a well-known fast car. Jay Leah Burns joins us live from the Bayfront Convention Center with more. Jade. Brianna, I've been here all day, and more and more people seem to be joining the ride. Day three of the Erie Auto Show is rolling along the fast track as car enthusiasts flood the Bayfront Convention Center. One vehicle that has seemed to catch the public's eye is the Chevrolet Camaro. Mike Horniak's one-of-a-kind 1970 Z28 Camaro greets you as soon as you walk in. I think they only made like 16,000 of these, these cars because they only made them on a half year. The transmission is rare and having the certain rear end gear, gear is a little different too. Horniak is the original owner and says his vehicle has been judged nationally. The stick shift has just about 10,000 miles on it. The gas is a little, a little harder on these because you have to use certain gas and you can only get it in Climber, New York that I know of and it's $12.50 a gallon. Meanwhile, you'll want to view the latest version of the Camaro because you won't be seeing it for long. It's going to be the last run of the Camaro currently and this body style. We don't know what's coming next, so we're able to share what we have now currently. The 3.6 liter V6 is running for $44,000 and is over 300 horsepower to add the thrill. Hammer says every single Camaro made has the same heritage, although certain things may be different. There's still rear wheel drive, there's still large engines, and there's still about that fun factor. But what has changed over the years? Safety is a bigger comparison than it was before. Both Hammer and Horniak are Camaro owners of different decades, but agree this is the car that they want to see in their driveways. You dream about it or what your next adventure will be in it and it allows you to go out and share that joy with other people. When you've had it as long as I do, it's your car. It, it doesn't feel any different because they discontinued it or not. It, it, it's just the way you feel. It's, while time is running out, you still have an opportunity to compare some of the muscle cars to the newer versions. I know this car right here is one of the oldest. It's a 1957 Corvette, and there's a bright, shiny blue new one by the EVs in the back of the convention center. You can view these cars one more time tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., all for only $6 a ticket. We'll send it back to you in the studio, Brianna. Jade Leah Burns, live at the Bayfront Convention Center. Thank you, Jade.